He threatened to waterboard me. All the while, Claudia claimed Isabella Pollock stood by and recorded her torment. Much of that audio recording entered into evidence and released to the public shows Larry interrogating Claudia about Stuart. I wanted to hurt Stuart Pilch. That is why I dragged him into this. It sounds... Why? Why? What did he do to you? Nothing. He was only ever very helpful and kind. Because... Because I, I guess I, hmm? I... I want... He's a good person and I want him... I mean, he's all... He, hmm? I want... I Like, I want to, like, control him or, like, have him as a... I, I want him to care about me at the expense of everything else. And he doesn't. He has a life that I have nothing to do with. In that tape, Ray reverses the narrative of victimization. He has Claudia confess that she exploited her client by informing him that Ray intended to blackmail him. When she testified against him in federal court this past March, Claudia was forced to relive what prosecutors described as her long night of torture. The government played a 21-minute excerpt of an audio recording from that night as Claudia's eyes darted to the ceiling and the floor of the witness box. She contorted her face in pain. Claudia remembered Larry carrying a number of plastic bags. She had one from a Duane Reed pharmacy in the room, and she didn't initially believe he would try to suffocate her until he put the bag over her head. I mean, I was suffocating. I was suffocating. I was terrified. I was trembling. Like, you can't breathe and you want to... You want to breathe a lot, but that just makes it much worse. It was terrifying. The more she tried to breathe, she recalled, the harder it became. Well, it's a plastic bag, so when you take a large breath of air in, it sticks to your mouth, and then you can't get it out of your mouth, and it sticks to your nose and your eyes. But Larry told her that the terror was really only in her mind, she said. At one point, he told me I was such a faker and such a liar because he was holding the bottom of the bag open and I was just being overdramatic by freaking out. At one point he said, do you think I'm gonna kill you? Do you really think I'm gonna kill you? I'm not gonna kill you. And then, like as soon as he put the bag over my head said, I am gonna kill you. 